Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Make it quick. What do you want? No scratches, right? Not bad. If I do say so myself. Lost you a good while. And finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well. Oh. Still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Think about it, Clyde. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. Mm. 
We sent Garth on a wild goose chase. Beastman. Perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Yeah. 
us through. Don't let them get away. Sick of Toggle. A deserter! Take his head! Out of my way! You made your choice! Don't let them get away! Yeah. <laughs> 
pleasure. You're late. Gout's in trouble. What? The heroes are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. You know what to do, boy. Come on.
Life doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death, that you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank God. <laughs> thank you, Gav. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Gouts of fire he was like a bleeding volcano. Never seen a volcano. What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. 
Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. See, I'm busy here. Yeah? Well, same for an Indian. Anything else? Get this fixed before someone. <gasps> it's true, then. It really is you. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I 
thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Glyph. When I think back to that night, Man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sources. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. Let's get this fixed before someone does it. We're looking at half a dozen. Make it quick. So, will it be? What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know that you don't come here for conversation.
rubbing me blind, you know. Cannot find a better price than that. Better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You got out else? I'm be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. Off you go then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Bran did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. to you. We should press on. I 
tucked in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at her cues. finished building the bridge then after what happened at phoenix gate it didn't seem the highest priority oi stop here you couldn't give me an hand could you typical a bloody bearer and just when i thought my luck had changed still better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand i suppose Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was very late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Martha's rest. That's one of our branded. Good girl. You get some rest now. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with them, if I know him. Gizal greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. You barely have to step out. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? We wish to ease bull even in the park. work building the aqueduct.
Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. Avoid blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Very good, to Eastpool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turned around 
I see a gang of slabbering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but man, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. The trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. That is a due to go up again. Bound to help us. It was good, honest. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the North, so they come down here hunting for food. Oh, he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? A flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young, far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right.
unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey? Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concern. I know, but for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way, did we? No. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. That's enough. You know what to do, boy.
Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light. It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should.
work building that ah you're back thanks for taking care of that the abbot had a message for you two more have succumbed I see come upstairs So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. No. a girl back in the day she was a slave to her fate just like you I wanted to save her for a while I even thought I could but just because you think something doesn't make it true Sid Saviour. Just a conceited old fool. 
I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. I wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Curse my luck, a branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait, a 
just a slumbering chocobo you're wearing. Doing a Marfrys, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you, then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the park to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. They'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. This Bryce, and let him know the road's safe. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <laughs> if 
If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years, without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies. 
So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. very grateful for them and sorry for depriving you of your memories not at all it's what your father would have wanted they suit you well <laughs> thank you lady hannah yes thank you been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Follow the road to the north. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go.